I recently made a video which explored the possibility of getting permanently stuck in Ocarina of Time's Water Temple. For years, there has been a rumor that if you use the small keys found in the temple in a specific way, it'll leave you with no keys and a single locked door, with no way to open it. Ultimately leaving you permanently stuck, with the only solution being starting a new file. Now, I explained in the video that this actually wasn't possible, and most likely was caused by this hard to find key. But after I was done making that video, it got me thinking. Is there a Zelda dungeon you can get permanently stuck in? Is there a dungeon out there that if completed in a specific order will cause you to become stuck? Where the only solution is deleting the file and starting anew? It's every Zelda fan's worst nightmare. And it's a question I needed answered. So join me now as I go on a journey to find out if it's possible to get permanently stuck in a Zelda dungeon. So, the first thing I needed to do was find some potential prospects that would meet my criteria. My end goal was to find a dungeon that caused you to be stuck by misuse of keys, just like the previously mentioned Water Temple rumor. But I wasn't even sure if a dungeon like this existed, so I brought in my search in hopes of finding any dungeon that would get you permanently stuck. Whether that be through misuse of keys or even through glitches. And after doing some research, I think I came away with four promising prospects. The first one has to do with a peculiar block in Skyward Sword's Lanayru mining facility. The second is a soft block that can occur right before Bongo Bongo in Ocarina of Time's Shadow Temple. The third has to do with this ball in Link's Awakening's Eagle Tower. And the fourth revolves around this jump in Link's Awakening's Angler's Tunnel. So, now that I had these four dungeons, I wanted to test them out for myself and see if it was really possible to get stuck in them. So let's get into it, starting first with the peculiar block from Skyward Sword. So deep within Lanayru's mining facility, there's a room that houses two Staldras, a pushable block, and a chest. The way you're normally supposed to progress through this room is defeat the Staldras, push the block to the wall, climb up, hit this crystal, and defeat the enemy to open the door to the chest. In the Switch version of Skyward Sword, it's possible to push this block in such a way that makes it unable to line up with this opening. And since you can't line it up with the opening, you're unable to push it to the wall and climb on up, making this dungeon impossible. And once it's like this, no matter what you do, it'll stay like this. It can't get unstuck. So right off the bat, this seemed really promising. But unfortunately, no matter how many times I tried to get this block stuck, I just couldn't. It would always just line up perfectly. After trying this over and over again, and getting really frustrated, I looked into it, and apparently this glitch was fixed in one of Skyward Sword's first patches, making it so players could never get this block stuck like this again. So, maybe at one point it was possible to get permanently stuck in this dungeon, but that's not the case anymore. So, let's move on to the next one. So, the soft lock in Ocarina of Time's Shadow Temple is actually pretty simple. Normally, when you enter this room and drop down into this pit, a cutscene will play. The cutscene shows Bongo Bongo to the player for the first time and introduces him as the boss of the Shadow Temple. But, if you accidentally drop a bomb while you're falling down into this pit, the bomb will explode at the bottom, damaging Bongo Bongo and soft locking the cutscene. Link will just stand there, unable to move and unable to die from Bongo Bongo's attacks. He is stuck. And I was actually able to get this to work. I dropped the bomb, damaged Bongo Bongo, and got the cutscene to softlock. So video over, right? We found a Zelda dungeon you can get permanently stuck in. Well, not quite. While the softlock does get you stuck in the dungeon, it's not permanent. If you reset the game at any point, it will completely fix this issue by placing Link at a point before this cutscene plays, essentially letting you try again. So while this dungeon gets us close to our permanently stuck dream, it's unfortunately not quite what we're looking for. So the next one I wanted to look at was the Iron Ball glitch in Link's Awakening's Eagle Tower. Normally you're supposed to use the Iron Ball to break four pillars located throughout the dungeon which allows you to access rooms located on the 4th floor. 
You do this by picking up the iron ball with the power bracelet and throwing it at each pillar. The main challenge of the dungeon is navigating each room with this iron ball. Sometimes, you have to throw it over obstacles, gaps, or even use it to solve puzzles. The problem is, you need this iron ball to beat the dungeon. No other weapon in your arsenal can break these pillars. So, potentially, if something happened to this ball, you would be stuck in the dungeon, unable to progress. And it just happens that something can happen to this ball. On floor 2 of this dungeon, there is a room with an L-shaped barrier. If you throw the ball over this barrier towards the bottom of the screen, it has a chance to bounce back and get stuck on top of this barrier. No matter how you try to pick it up, you can't. It is stuck. And in the GB version of this game, there's nothing you can do to reset the placement of the ball. You can leave the dungeon, reset the game, nothing you do will move this ball off this barricade. And since you need the ball to break the rest of the pillars, you are unable to progress to the rest of the dungeon causing you to become permanently stuck, with the only way to fix it being starting a new file of the game. So the answer is yes, it is possible to get permanently stuck in a Zelda dungeon. But for some reason this kind of felt hollow to me. I did get myself stuck, but it was because of a glitch. The original Water Temple rumor was getting stuck by using small keys in the wrong order, and I still hadn't found a dungeon where that could actually happen in. But luckily, I still had one more dungeon to try, and it seemed like the most promising of them all. This is Link's Awakening's Angler's Tunnel. There's a rumor that in this dungeon there's a way to break the intended order of small keys by jumping over this gap, that you're not supposed to be able to jump over. But let's first look at the small keys in this dungeon and the way you're supposed to use them. So, the first small key is located in the room to the right of the dungeon's entrance, and needs to be used to open this door in the room right above it. You can then access these two keys in these adjacent rooms, and use them on this door and this key block. This then leads you to the crucial fourth key. You are supposed to use this key to unlock the miniboss door and get the flippers, which will then allow you to get this underwater key, swim across this deep water, and use that key on this key block. But what can happen is instead of using the fourth key to open this mini boss door, you can hop over this gap using the Pegasus boots and Rot's cape and open this key block which is intended for the fifth key. Once you do this, you are stuck in a catch 22. You now need a key to open the mini boss door to get the flippers, but the only key left is this key stuck underwater, which you need the flippers to get. And you cannot finish the dungeon without the flippers because the final boss is underwater. So if you jump the gap and use this fourth key on the key block, you are permanently stuck in this dungeon. And I did test this, it is super easy to jump over this gap and misuse this key. So much so that Nintendo actually made it impossible in the Switch remake to make this jump. So there you have it, we found irrefutable proof that it is possible to get permanently stuck in a Zelda dungeon. Not in the Water Temple, not in Lenaru Mining Facility, not even in the Shadow Temple, but in a little temple called Angler's Tunnel. <laughs>